Your faith will make you well. Your faith will promote your business. Your faith will give you breakthroughs. It is your faith that determines. The words we speak show our faith. Believe what your God is saying. Because your God is saying something.
Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I welcome you all to our today's session in the sharing in this uh, time of prayer and fasting. We've been taking a series on ministering to the Lord. The first day, part one, we looked at what it means to minister to the Lord. Day two of the series, we looked at why we minister to the Lord. Day two, we looked at why we minister to the Lord. And today we'll be taking the last part of ministering to the Lord, which is what happens when we minister to the Lord, all the effects of ministering to the Lord. So just to take a recap, we say that ministering to the Lord is doing something to the Lord. It is thanking God. It is praising Him, appreciating Him, giving Him glory, worshipping Him for who He is and for what He has done, regardless of our current circumstances, regardless of the challenge at hand. Our anger scripture is Acts chapter 13, verse 1 and 2. Now in the church that was at Antioch, there were certain prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Ninja, Lucas of Cyrene, and Manaen, and Saul. Verse 2. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Spirit said, Now separate to me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them. So verse 2 tells us that as they ministered to the Lord and fasted. So in this kind of fasting and ministering to the Lord, they were waiting on the Lord not for a specific need, but they were just appreciating God for his goodness, for his greatness, acknowledging who God is, blessing his name for his wonderful works. And as they were ministering, ministering to God, God spoke and he showed them the way forward. So we are saying, we said ministering to the Lord is acknowledging God's goodness, God's kindness, God's greatness. We, we appreciate his mercies and his wonderful work. Ministering to the Lord involves praising God, thanking him, worshiping him, magnify him and testifying of his wonderful works. We can use songs, we can use hymns, we can use our own words to tell God how wonderful, how great he is. We can use psalms, we can use spiritual songs, we can make it in the spirit, we pray in the spirit with, 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 and also with understanding, all declaring of God's goodness and greatness. In Psalms 96 verse 1 to 3, sing a new song to the Lord, let the whole earth sing to the Lord. Sing to the Lord, praise his name. Each day, proclaim the good news that he saves. Publish his glorious deeds among the nations. Tell everyone about the amazing things he does. So you see the content the psalmist is giving us. He says, sing praises to the Lord. Each day, proclaim the good news that he saves. So we are celebrating in ministering to God. We are appreciating for his saving grace. He says, publish his glorious deeds among the nations. So we declare of his glorious deeds and also of his amazing works. Hallelujah. Why should we minister to the Lord? We gave some few points. We said God is seeking for people to worship him. We saw that in John 4, 23. The time is coming, he did this year, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. The Father is looking for those who will worship him that way. So God is looking for those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. 
Still, we say that we minister to the Lord because he is worthy to be worshipped. We worship God because he is worthy to be worshipped. Revelation 4, 11 say, You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they exist, and we are created. He is worthy to receive all the glory, to receive honor, to receive power. And Psalms 96, verse 4, Great is the Lord, he is the most worthy of praise. So God is the most worthy of praise. While we minister to the Lord, worship is the response of the human spirit to God's goodness. When we get to understand how great, how wonderful God is, we will break forth into ministering to God the Lord, into praising Him, into thanking Him. We reciprocate to God's love, God's greatness with a praiseful heart, with thanksgiving. So we minister to God out of love, having seen how great, how glorious. We also say that we minister to the Lord because we are the temple of the living God. God has chosen to come and dwell in us. And if he's in us, then we are the place of worship. He has also made us priests and we mean who minister in his temple. While when we got born again, we are not only brought into God's kingdom, but he has meant us kings. He has meant us priests. And priests have a duty of ministering to the Lord. And finally, we said ministering to the Lord is our continuous duty as priests of the Lord. We are to minister to God continually. Hebrews 13, 15 says, Through him, therefore, let us constantly and at all times offer up to God a sacrifice of praise. So at all times, continually, offer to God sacrifice of praise, which is a fruit of lips that thankfully acknowledge and confess and glorify his name. So today we want to zero on effects of ministering to the Lord. What happens when we minister to the Lord? What happens when we minister to the Lord? Number one thing is ministering to the Lord helps us to turn away from self, from our circumstances, from our challenges and focus on God. Focus on his greatness. Focus on his goodness. So ministering to the Lord changes our focus. We are no longer focusing on our challenge, but we are putting in our minds and in our hearts. We are reflecting. We are meditating. We are beholding God's goodness. We are beholding God's greatness. We are focusing on God's love. So it's no longer about us. It's no longer about challenge. But we focus on God. So we cease to consider our present challenges and trials and focus on God's greatness. We focus on God's faithfulness. We focus on God's wonderful works. We focus on God's saving grace. We focus on God's love. We focus on what we have become in Christ Jesus by putting our faith in him. We see an example in Abraham. Abraham focused on the promise that he would be the father of many nations, even when he was childless. And it came to pass. Barrenness was brought to an end. The Bible tells us in Romans 4.19, Abraham did not consider his current state, his barrenness. Neither did he consider the state of Sarah, his wife. But he was strong in faith, giving glory to God. He was focused on God and what God had promised. He was focused on God's faithfulness to bring to pass what he had promised him. So ministering to the Lord shuts up the voice of our challenges and it amplifies the greatness of our God. When we begin to minister to the Lord, our mind is full of the words we are talking to God, declaring of who he is. Because even when we are ministering to the Lord, the songs we sing, the recitations we make, is not in the tune, it's not in who said it, but it is in the content. It should be talking of God's goodness. It should be talking on the attributes of God, who he is, of his wonderful works, what he has done. So when we minister to God, we shut up the voice of our challenges. Because not even the challenges are talking. 
Your trials are talking. They keep on talking and they initiate fear in you. But when we begin focusing on God, focusing on his greatness, focusing on his faithfulness, focusing on his um, love, then in our hearts we are seeing the possibility. We are partnering with God. We are coming into agreement with God with what he has done in the past and his wonderful promise in his word concerning us. And before we know it, the enemy is defeated without talking to him. Hallelujah. We are saying number two, ministering to the Lord leads to the manifestation of God's mighty works. When we minister to God, God answers. And when he answers, he answers to the name we are calling him. As we are ministering to him, declaring of his greatness, he answers by showing forth his greatness. As we are ministering to him, declaring of his faithfulness, more dimensions of his faithfulness are made manifest to us. As we minister to him, declaring of how powerful he is, the power again is brought into display. We see in the book of Acts chapter 2, 16. I'll read verse 25 to 27. When Paul and Silas, they were arrested and beaten for delivering a slave girl who was demon-possessed. And at midnight, Paul and Silas, they prayed and sang praises. They prayed and ministered to the Lord. And the prison, prisoners heard them. Verse 26, suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the of the prison we are shaken and immediately all the doors we are opened and everyone's chains we are loosed and the keeper of the prison awakening from sleep and seeing the prison doors open supposing the prisoners had fled he drew his sword he was about to kill himself but our emphasis is that verse 26 suddenly as a result of ministering to the lord singing praises unto him, God responded. There was a great earthquake. God's power manifested. There was a great earthquake. The foundations of the prisons were shaken. The prison doors were opened. Everyone's chains were loosed. The jailer and his household, they received Christ Jesus. Paul and Silas, at the end of it, they were delivered from the prison. The power of God came on display. We are saying ministering to the Lord leads to the manifestation of God's power, of God's mighty works. What we are beholding, the attribute of God we are beholding as we minister to him, it is made manifest in our lives, in our circumstances, before our very own eyes. Paul and Silas are not saying, oh God, please uh, make sure we come out of here. No, they prayed and they ministered to God. And the power of God, God stepped down to this as a display of his greatness. So as we minister to the Lord, declaring of his greatness, declaring of his love, declaring of his power, he manifests in the same dimension. All those attributes, they are made manifest. He steps in. His power is brought into play. He bring, deliverance happens. The doors of limitations, the doors which have been limiting us and hindering us, they are clear, they are opened. So we are saying, in short, ministering to the Lord leads to the demonstration of God's power. Also, Exodus chapter 15, verse 11, it says, Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you? You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praises, doing wonders. So when we praise God, when we minister to God, he does fearful things. He does wondrous things. His power is made manifest. Number three, we are looking at effects of ministering to the Lord. Number one, we have seen that when we minister to the Lord, we turn away from self and our circumstances and we focus on God. We focus on his greatness. We focus on his love. We focus on his power. Also, we have seen that when we minister to the Lord, his power is brought 
on display. His power is made manifest. His greatness is made manifest. His faithfulness is made manifest. His healing power is made manifest. Whatever we are ministering to God, the attributes we are beholding, they are made manifest. Number three, effects of ministering to the Lord. Ministering to the Lord leads to revelation. God shows us things we wouldn't have known. He shows us great and mighty things which we do not know. In the book of Acts chapter 13, we had read verse 2. I just want us to read it again and see something. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Spirit said, Now separate to me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. So Barnabas and Saul, they were ripe for ministry. God now spoke in that time when they were ministering to him. And he said, now separate for me Paul and Barnabas for the special assignment I have for them. So that was a step beyond what they had known. They could not have initiated it. Remember us at this time, Paul had been rejected everywhere he went. After he got born again on his way to Damascus, he went to Jerusalem. He tried preaching. They wanted to kill him. He had to be, to be sneaked out through the window. Everywhere he went to preach, he was rejected. They wanted to kill him because they were told the one who used to persecute you is now preaching the gospel. They could not take it. He had to be advised to go and to go back to his own hometown. He had to stay, go and stay there. Until a time came, now Barnabas went to fetch him. So he was with Barnabas in the church in Antioch. He could not go anywhere. Most of the other places, his ministry was not accepted. But at this time, the Holy Spirit commissioned them. And from there, Paul began now. His, his ministry took off. It took off. And he went on. And he did great wonders and exploits with the Lord. So this ministering to the Lord led to the revelation that it is now time. Paul and Barnabas, go out as a team. Don't go alone. The Holy Spirit gave those details. So their worship led to revelation. It was revealed that now Paul and Barnabas should be sent out. And that was the beginning of their missionary journey. Paul began his missionary journey and his ministry was very great. Hallelujah. And finally, ministering to the Lord glorifies God. Ministering to the Lord glorifies God. Psalms 50 verse 23. Psalms 50 23. He who brings an offering of praise and thanksgiving honors and glorifies me. And he who orders his way aright, to him I will demonstrate the salvation of God. Our emphasis is that he who brings an offering of praise and thanksgiving, that is ministering to God, honors and glorifies God. So when we minister to God, God is honored. God is glorified. And that translation says, whoever offers thanksgiving as a sacrifice honors me. I will let everyone who continues in my way see the salvation that comes from God. So we are ushered to another dimension of seeing the salvation, experiencing it, becoming partakers. You don't just say, by the stripes of Jesus, I was healed. But you enjoy it. You enjoy the manifestation of it. You will see, you experience it for reality. So in conclusion, when we minister to the Lord by praising him, by thanking him, by appreciating him, by exhorting him for who he is and for what he has done, God is glorified. The enemy is defeated. And we have the victory, or our victory is established. God is glorified. The enemy and all his schemes, he is defeated. Yet we have not talked to the enemy. As we magnify God, as we magnify God, his power is brought into display. Healings take place. Deliverances take place. Revelations take place. Divine guidance take place. And we, our victory is established. Hallelujah. 
my advice and my challenge for me and you is that we may be established in our ministry of ministering to the Lord. Ministering to the Lord is our first calling, and as we abide in it, we grow and experience higher dimensions of God's power, God's greatness in Jesus' mighty name. Let's join the choir once again for a time of ministering to the Lord. We do it with understanding in Jesus' name. Amen.
Jonathan Alex Christo tumeabudu. I thank God and his servant for this opportunity to take us a prayer and we are praying enforcing the manifestation of desired increase as far as concerned in the realm of the spirit the Lord has provided increase he has allowed he has said yes to our prayer so we are enforcing the manifestation of our desired increase and we are going to take our scripture to give our strength as we do that shortly that is Job chapter 22, verse 27 and 28. It says, you will make your prayer to him and he will hear you and you will pay your vows. Verse 28, you shall also decide and decree a thing and it shall be established for you. And the light, that's, that is God's favor, shall shine upon your ways. So we are going to shortly rise up and we are going to also pray in this manner. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for hearing and answering my prayers concerning my desired increase. Number two, we are going to say, in the name of Jesus, I believe and receive increase in my business, career, job, skills, ministry, family, finances, etc. Number three, I command the manifestation of my increase in my finances, business, ministry, career, family, wisdom, and any area to manifest in Jesus' precious name. Number four, I command every channel through which this increase will flow through to become functional in Jesus' precious name. So with that understanding, please let's rise up on our feet as we pray we are enforcing increase in various areas of our life first we shall give thanks to god and also command increase in various areas of our life in the name of jesus father in the name of jesus we thank you we bless we call your name we thank you lord for hearing and answering our prayers in the name Name of Jesus as relating to our various needs, uh, oh King of Kings, uh, we thank you, Lord. Uh, we bless and you honor our name. Uh, we thank you, Lord, uh, for we cried unto you, for we asked from you, Lord, uh, and you provided the answers uh, to our prayers. Uh, Lord, we thank you. We bless you, we honor our name. Uh, thank you, Lord, uh, for answering our prayer concerning our careers, concerning our jobs. Uh, oh Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you, King of Kings, uh, for answering every prayer. Lord, we call upon you and you are able to answer and you said yes to every detail. You said yes to every prayer that we made in this mountain. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we honor your name. We thank you, Lord, for this for the desired increase in various areas of our life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I believe and receive increase in my business, my career, my jobs, my skills, my ministry. In the name of Jesus, I believe your report that concerning my finances, that concerning my jobs, that concerning my... My, my finances, my family, we are increasing in the name of Jesus. I believe and I receive that increase in the name of Jesus. The Lava Shakan de Lubu, my Shakan de Lubu Shikanta, the Lava Shandu Lubu Shikanta, the Kaba Shikanta Lubu Shanda, the Lava Shakan de Lubu Shikanta, the Lava Shakantu, the Lava Shakan de Lubu, the Kaba Shakan de Lubu Shanda. You say in your word that it is well with the Russia, it is well with. Us. It is well with finances. It is well with our families. It is well with our skills. For you answered our prayer. Rala ba shaka ndarubu, ma shaka ndarubu shikanta. Rala ba shenerele bo shikanta. Rala ba shonerele bo shikanta. Rika ba shaka ndarubu shikanta. Rala ba shonerele bo shikanta. 
Rekabashe Kandoro Boshe Kanta. In the name of Jesus, I command the manifestation of our increase to be evident in our lives. In the name of Jesus, Rabasha Kandoro Boshe Kanta. Rabasha Kandoro Boshe Kanta. Whatever that you allowed in the realm of the Spirit that is ours in Christ. In the name of Jesus, I command that increase to be visible in our lives. In the name of Jesus, to be made manifest in our lives. In the name of Jesus, Ralaba Shakandere Lebo, Mashakandere Lebo Shekanta, Ralaba Shandere Lebo Shekanta, Raka Baba 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 Baba, Ralaba Shekandere Lebo Shanda, Ralaba Shakandere Lebo, Mashandere Lebo Shekanta, Ralaba Shakandere Lebo Shekanta. De la mawa boshi kante, de la basha nuru boshi kanta, de la basha kanto. I decree an increase in our family in the name of Jesus. We decree an increase in our finances in the name of Jesus. In our business, I decree an increase in the name of Jesus. Concerning wisdom, we are increasing higher and higher in the name of Jesus. Concerning our Lord, your wisdom and the insight of God's word, we are increasing. Increasing higher and higher in the name of Jesus. Ralaba shakanta ralaba wo. Ralaba shekete ralaba wo shekanta. Ralaba shanda ralaba wo. Ma shekanta ralaba wo shekanta. Ralaba shekete ralaba shanda ralaba wo shekanta. Ma shakanta ralaba wo. Ma shakante ralaba wo. Ralaba shanda ralaba wo shekanta. Ralaba shakanda ralaba wo shekanta. Our family shall all move forward in the name of Jesus. Our business shall all move forward in the name of Jesus. Through your faith. Our business are moving forward mightily in the name of Jesus. Our ways concerning our finances are moving forward. They are brighter and brighter in the name of Jesus. Rala basha kanto rolebo, basha kante rolebo, rala basha nolebo shikanta. Eka ba 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 ba. In the name of Jesus, I command every channel that is ordained to attend to my need. In the name of Jesus, I command those channels that are. Ordained to reach my need in the name of Jesus, I command them to flow and to be functional in the name of Jesus. Rala basha kando rolebo, basha kanta rala boshi kanta. Rala basha kando rolebo, basha kando rola boshi kanta. Rala basha kando rola boshi kanta. I command in the name of Jesus. Those channels are in business that are for bend for me to move forward, for me to move forward. In the name of Jesus, I command those those channels functional. In the name of Jesus, they will flow. In the name of Jesus, Rala basha kanto rolebo, basha kante rolebo shanda, Rala basha nuru rolebo shikanta, Rala basha kanto rolebo shikanta, Eka ba 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 ba, Rala basha kanto rolebo shikanta, Eka ba 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 basha kande, Rala basha nuru rolebo. Masha kanta la moshi kanta, re la masha kanta. I decree and declare those channel of business that are open in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare those channels in family in wisdom that are open in the name of Jesus. I decree business are open in the name of Jesus. I decree career open in the name of Jesus. I decree jobs open in the name of Jesus. Re la masha kanta re lebo, masha kanta re baba, re la masha nuru. Masha kante re lebo she kanta raba, rala masha nuru lebo she kanta, re masha kanta rala ba. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you honor. We appreciate you, Lord, for the open channel. We appreciate you, Lord, for the open channel. We appreciate you, Lord, for the business, for the career, for our families that are flourishing through your wisdom and through your wisdom we are moving forward. Father, we bless you, God, and them. We thank you because the manifestation shall be quicker. There will be no. Delay. We shall arrive in the realm of the visible. In the name of Jesus, Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you honor. We appreciate you because you're the King of Kings, and it is done. And we thank you. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, we have prayed. I believe you are blessed by this ministry through the ministration of God's word, and you too can be a blessing to this ministry, Ambassador Chapel, by giving. Offering to support the spreading of the true gospel of Christ through this ministry, and you can use the following details below to give towards supporting this ministry. And the Lord bless you as you do that in Jesus' name.